What's up, YouTube? It's Mount Metal Anthony here. Today, I'm gonna run through what do I do when I'm not well. Maybe you'll find it helpful. I really don't know what today holds, honestly. I figure, uh, why not show you the, the not so welding yet, right? I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you'll hate it. We'll find out. Okay, where the fuck do they keep the compressor oil? It's all compressor shit. It's all the welding shit. I need a ground. No grounds? It's weird. All right, so it looks like Lowe's don't got what I need, so it's a Harbor Freight it is. This is kind of how it goes. You end up running around to 10 stores in a fucking day. I need a ground clamp to try to repair a old plasma cutter I have. It's not really the best. I guess you guys will see later if I get to it, but all right, to Harbor Freight we go. All right, here we are at the old Harbor Freight. They actually kicked me out of the store a couple of times because I wasn't in the whole communist propaganda thing, but I think it's because they're a Chinese corporation they buy into that shit. Let's see if they're still on their mask bullshit or not. I guess not. All right. Now I need a ground. All right, this will do. Seven ninety nine. Everything seven ninety nine. I think it's that one. Twenty four. All right. So there's still a lot of people sucking on their masks around here. I mean, I get it if you're like you're old and shit, but you know, if you're not. I don't know. You can't force people to do things they don't want to do. But, uh, yeah. So we got what we need. We're going to head back to the house, start fixing my compressor. Let's we'll see where the rest of the day takes us. I really don't know what's going to happen today, but... All right, guys. We're at my favorite gas station. I know that sounds kind of weird, but when I do business with somebody, I only do business with them. That's just how I am. So my boy TC owns this. I think it's a Chevron or maybe a mobile. I don't know what the fuck it is. But I don't even look at the gas price anymore. I just come straight here because uh, dudes always treat me well. Hopefully this doesn't spill. So we got air compressor oil. We're gonna get into the compressor. Dump some oil in. You can see I kind of have this retrofitted little valve here and that, you know, that way I don't have to unscrew anything. I can just unscrew this little handle here. But um, I had to actually tap this, as you can see, by all the metal shavings and rethread it for this this pipe. Um, just because I was trying to save a buck, I had all these fittings and stuff sitting in my shop. So I figured, why not save a dollar? So um, I don't really know if this is going to work out or not. So what I'm going to do is just put a little bit of oil in here. Let it settle down and sit in here. I'm gonna see if it's coming out of the uh, the drain plug and make sure it's not leaking anywhere. If it's leaking out of here, leaking out of there, leaking out of there, wherever, before I dump a whole thing of oil in it. I mean, it's only $7.99 for this oil, but you know, $7.99, $7.99. I'm a cheapskate, so. I'm not gonna go hard. Oh, shit. Fucking cunt. This, why would they make the hole that fucking small? Fucking assholes. That should be enough to let us know whether this thing is gonna hold oil or not. You know it's making it through because we got a little oil dripping. So that's good. And we know our petcock at least works. We're gonna grab our welding stuff that we bought. I didn't tell you why I bought those cable connector ends and the ground. It's for a plasma cutter project that I have. Well, I don't know if I want to call it a project, but all of a sudden one day it stopped working. Um, and I just stopped using it because I have a torch and Quite frankly, I'm better with a torch than I am a plasma cutter. So let's go ahead and see if we can't get that thing up and going. So I'm gonna strip and fit the end here. I don't believe that's a 300 amp ground. Look at that, that's 300 amps. So I jacked the ground off of this thing a while ago uh, for one of my welders. Actually, there it is right there. This is just general maintenance day. Just go around, when you're not working, you're always working. I mean, it's. Like that old saying, like I started a business because I wanted to work less, but now I work, you know, more. It's, it's true, you know, it's just kind of how it goes. You're never gonna get that apart. I'll tighten that down, we'll fire up the air compressor and we're gonna see what's wrong with this.
This knob seems to be broken here. But it's just the center. Alright, so you can see, it's just the center. So 16 PSI, 27 amps. Let's see what this sucker will cut. this thing does but that thing seems to be fucking trash doesn't even look like it's made out of metal it looks like it's made out of some sort of plastic but i'm sure you guys probably know what it is i don't even know if this fucking video is gonna go on the internet honestly this whole thing seems to be fucked up well looks like i'm gonna need to do some internet ordering it's not all of the parts i need i need this piece here which i don't know what the fuck that is so maybe I'll get in touch with uh, Eastwood and see if they have that piece there. Maybe I'll get on their tech line and ask them. All right, so I talked to my guy, and he says because it's arcing out, and this is actually a, a piece of the torch in the torch, I would need to get a whole new torch set up. And the torch is almost as much as the machine. I think I only pay like five or 600 bucks for this thing, and they want like three or 400 for the torch. But anyway, is what it is. The thing's so old, I know they're not gonna warranty it. So let's move on with our day. Uh, we're going to go back out back and uh, see if we're leaking any oil out of that petcock I put on. And if we're not, we're going to dump the rest of the oil in that air compressor. And then we're going to try to get that thing running. Um, shouldn't be a big deal. The motor should start right back up with some fresh gas, I would imagine. Oh, the joys. This isn't big enough. It's got to be inching. Inching in the eighth or something like that. Let's go grab one of those. And that seems to be the ticket. All right, cool. That's actually, it actually wasn't on there very... Very tight, so that's cool. There's definitely some oil in here. Oh, okay, cool. So now that's empty. All right, so we just need to scrub that real quick. Actually, this thing takes quite a bit of oil now that I'm seeing. I might actually need to go get another another jug of that air compressor oil. Oh, there's a little O-ring. A little O-ring there. Give it a scrub. See, now it's pretty much see-through again. So, cool. Let's slam this back together real quick as much as we can like this. Damn. This thing had a lot of fucking oil in it. Definitely gonna need to get more oil. I believe I need a release valve too, actually, that I almost forgot about. I might have to go to Napa to get all this shit. That seems to be the only place with anything other than fucking auto parts. Let's get rid of it. Basically using the weight of the wrench. You don't want to go too crazy on a plastic cap like this. Well, uh, let's try to find some of this fucking oil. I think I have some somewhere. I don't know where, though. All right, it turns out we did have another one. I don't think this is going to be enough, but, you know, I didn't have to pay for it. So that's always good. It's probably saving $4. I'm gonna make a little guard around this. Just probably bend some some round stock just to keep it from getting broken off again. But I need to replace this valve here, but I need to pop this off. I'm gonna see if I can repair it because I'm a cheapskate. But um, if I can't, we'll just get a new one. I think we can get a new one, but let's take that off. So I always bring an assortment of wrenches whenever I have to take something apart. I don't know the size, a little PB. So give her a spritz real quick. Probably three quarter. Yep, three quarter. Okay, cool. So we'll take the whole mechanism out because I, I hear it clicking. So I'm assuming that there's something in there moving around. All right, now I can tell it's hand loose. All right. Okay. Oh yeah, you can see it's got some rust going on in there. Might be able to fix it. I don't know. Probably not. There's the check ball right there. We got to find something to cap that so that way we're gone or while we're messing with this, it doesn't get nothing in it. All right. Well, let's get something to cap this and then we'll start working on this. So this is kind of the unseen part of my operation. But yeah, I uh, have a whole storage trailer 
um, which honestly, if you're in this business, you're probably gonna end up with something similar uh, because you need a place to store all your extra parts and all your cut off and here's all the parts and, and uh, different pieces and different tools that I don't use every day. I, this is where I store them, um, you know, cause I don't, I wouldn't have room for all this in my garage, you know, especially when you're running a home-based operation and you're trying to keep your overhead low, which I always suggest. So let's see if I have a, uh, a cap that's gonna fit into that hole, which I think I do. Let's look at my handy dandy box of random crap. Uh, well, here's a cap. That one might be it. This one might be it too. So we'll grab both of those. So let's go see if any of these fit. All right. And that's why I left the container open was just in case of that. So um, I need to find a place to put these out of the way. I guess I can just throw them in there for now. Oh, we got another plastic cap here. This might be good enough for what we're trying to accomplish. You know, we're not trying to get scientific. Let's see. No, that won't work. It's close, but no cigar. About this here. No, it's the same. This? Oh, that might be it there. That might work. Let's see. Let's see if I can get you guys a better view. That might do it. Well, we'll bring it with us. See if we can find a threaded one. That would be nice. Nice to have a threaded one in there. Even if I just have to throw something in it and duct tape over it, I mean, that's that's fine. I mean, it is what it is. A lot of the same fucking cap over and over again. Uh, it's too small. It's close. Thread is that fucking really, really, uh, what's it called? Thread. Uh, maybe this one here. It's too small. It seems they're all too big or too small. It has a hole through it, so that ain't gonna help me. Oh, wait, what's this one? This one looks like it could be it. That could be it right there. Looks like somebody cut a screw head into it. Let's see. Oops. Mm, I don't think so, but I think this cap will work. I can just shove this down in the hole. What about this? Bring that too, just in case. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything else in here. I know this is where all the caps are because at one point I organized them. Well, I threw them all in one bin. Didn't really organize them. All right. So we got our three caps and hopefully one of them works. If not, we're just gonna probably put the small one in and duct tape over it. Let's see if this works. Oh, look at that. It's pretty close. You know what, in reality, I don't need that to thread all the way in. I just need it to cover the hole so pieces of shit can't get in there. So that will work perfectly. Let's take this cap off and see what's underneath it. Yup, an inch. Oh, damn, it's on there. Right, let's get a little lube on it. Hopefully this isn't reverse thread or some crazy shit. Oh, it's the whole thing's wanting to move on me, of course. One-handed, not bad. Okay, all right, everything looks okay in there. Let's go take this over to the workbench and see if we can't get it worked out. And by bench, I just meant the back of my truck. All right, so the problem is, is this does not open nor close. Yeah, it's, there's some sort of spring in there, making that spring noise, that I have a spring inside of me noise. Hear that? It's just bound together. Okay, now we can see down in here. A whole bunch of rust in here. Well, it's starting to move again. 
if I just let this soak in oil, it might fix it. Well, not fix itself, but it might get, it might loosen itself up. Well, I'm going to let this sit right here. A little oil in it. Just fucking soak it down with oil. I let this thing soak in lube. Let's see if it's loose. All right, so let's see. Oh, shit. Okay. Well, now it's come apart. That's good. Yeah, you can see all the crap. The rust is holding it together, as you can see, but it looks like it's okay. It looks like if I can just sand this down, um, we can get this thing back to working for me. And you can see how it works. It's just like a plunger system that allows the air to seep out as it overbuilds. So I got it pretty well cleaned up, and we're going to put this back together and then put it back in and see what happens. I'm going to go ahead and put it back in. All right, we've got this back into place, so now we're gonna start screwing with our uh, our carburetor over here. I already drained the fuel, and I had to cut a little bit of the hose off because split, which I think was due to dry rot. And uh, I don't know if I should just go ahead and dump new gas in this, or I should probably pull this bolt out um, of the bowl to see if there's any debris in there. But um, I may just crank this thing over and uh, see if it'll start. It smells like varnish. That's how you know that fuel's no good. I'm going to dump a little fuel in the tank and let it run through. And then just leave this bowl open. And then put the petcock on and let it flush whatever fuel is in the petcock out. Hopefully that pushes any debris that might be in there out too. Put the plug back in and then we'll go ahead and try to crank it up. See what happens. All right. Okay. Well, awesome. It looks like we've got that running. Um, really, because I've got the drain plug sealed up. I've got the air release fixed. The last thing for me to do really is just go ahead and get some uh, hydraulic, or not hydraulic, some uh, compressor oil and fill my compressor the rest of the way. Um, that little bit I ran, it will be okay. I mean, I can see the oil on the bottom of the site. So that means I only need really probably eight more ounces and then it should be good to go. Um, but yeah, all right. Well, guys, um, I need to go inside and start doing some estimates. Um, and that's incredibly boring. And I'm not going to sit there and film that for you guys. So maybe one day I'll make an estimate video, but this isn't it. All right, guys. Well, I'm Melton Metal Anthony. This is a day in uh, a welder's life when he's not welding. I hope you enjoy what you saw here today. And um, maybe you learned a thing or two. Or maybe you can learn me something and leave something in the comments. And like, subscribe, share, do the whole nine. Otherwise, keep dragging rod, keep pushing, make, keep doing what you do. And I'll catch you on the next video.